from the brightly colored peacock spiders to spiders that can eat fish twice their own size. Here are nine new spider species. Damn, nature, you scary. Number nine. Would it be fair to say that Australia has more than its fair share of scary spiders? Well, guess what? Another new spider species was discovered in Oz, and this one may turn out to be a deadly funnel web spider. The five centimeter female specimen was found burrowed in a log at Booderee National Park in New South Wales, and is thought to be around 30 years old. Experts think the specimen could belong to the tree-dwelling Hadronich genus, as opposed to the Atrax genus, which dwells on the the ground, and that genus includes the Sydney funnel web, one of the world's most venomous spiders. Experts said they needed to undertake more tests before confirming if the animal belongs to a species that was previously unknown. Number 8. Since 2006, scientists have discovered some 700 species of spider in an area of southern Yunnan, China known as the Kingdom of Tropical Fauna and Flora. It's one of the few places in China that still contains large tracts of tropical rainforest. In 2014, 30 new species of spider were found there, all within less than a square mile of the rainforest. Despite that huge find, experts think there are many more arachnid species yet to be discovered at the location, and expected to publish findings of another 100 new species. Number 7. Along the coast of Queensland is where 11 new species of golden trapdoor spider were discovered earlier in 2016. Some of the spiders found were as big as an adult's palm, while others had deadly fangs around a centimeter long. While seen to be aggressive, it's still unknown if the spiders carry venom that might be potentially dangerous to humans. They're called trapdoor spiders because they construct burrows underground with a type of trapdoor made of vegetation and soil. The spider is alerted when tripwires laid around the trapdoor are disturbed by prey. Detecting the vibrations, the arachnid waits until its victim is close enough, then leaps out of its burrow to make the kill. The burrows constructed by these newly discovered spiders were different, featuring oversized doors that poke up like little turrets. Prior to this discovery, only four species of golden trapdoor spider were known to scientists. Number 6. A tiny spider was discovered in Laos that presented a truly bizarre sight to researchers, a species of huntsman spider that had no eyes. The newly discovered creature appears to be the only one of its kind. Experts think the absence of visual faculties is related to the creature living in a permanent state of darkness, and it showed additional adaptations to a cave-dwelling existence, including a lack of pigmentation. While certain species of huntsman spider can attain leg spans up to 12 inches or 300 millimeters. This unique arachnid has a leg span of only 6 centimeters, with a body size around 12 millimeters. All nine new species of this genus, called Cynopoda, have been found in caves, seeming to confirm the creature's fondness for living underground. But while other spiders in the genus demonstrated varying numbers of eyes or were blind, this is the only one found that had no eyes at all. Number 5. If you're an arachnophobe, this story will not give you much to smile about. But arachnologists in Frankfurt were grinning ear to ear after identifying a new genus of huntsman spider, made up of four new species. The researchers brought the spiders back from the deserts of Namibia and South Africa for analysis. Their discoveries about the creatures included hairy feet specialized to keep them from sinking into the sand. But the spider's most distinctive feature might be their eyes, of which they have eight. The eyes are arranged in a way that makes makes the critters appear as if they're smiling. But as huntsman spiders, they're serious about chasing down the prey. The largest of the new species had a body about an inch long, or three centimeters, and a leg span of three inches, or eight centimeters. Large palps, or elongated appendages, located near the mouth of one species, suggested they might dig burrows more than a foot beneath the sand. Researchers also noted that every female specimen displayed evidence of scars on her back, which appeared like healed injuries. The marks are about the same distance apart as the male's fangs, leading to speculation the marks could be love bite scars. Number 4. 
Eight new species of whip spider were discovered earlier in 2016 in Brazil's Amazon rainforest. The arachnid is actually a cross between a spider and a scorpion, and is also known as a tailless whip scorpion. But the creatures have no venomous fangs and are harmless to humans. While these arachnids can grow up to 24 inches or 60 centimeters, the ones recently described were much smaller. The new species were differentiated by the body parts, with some having eyes in the center of the heads. There are some 170 species of whip spider known around the world, and Brazil has the world's largest diversity of the animals, with 25 species identified. Unfortunately, their habitat there is threatened by human encroachment and deforestation. Number 3. Spiders typically prey on insects, but did you know there are some spiders that have a taste for seafood? Zoologists have discovered a number of spiders that dine on small fish to supplement the diet and can consume prey twice the size and weight. Some are semi-aquatic spiders that will lurk at the fringes of shallow freshwater streams or swamps. Others are capable of swimming diving, and even walking on the water's surface. While five different species of fish-eating spiders have been discovered across the world, most incidents have been documented in Florida wetlands, where semi-aquatic spiders have been observed catching and eating small freshwater fish like mosquito fish. The creature uses powerful enzymes and neurotoxins that helps them kill and digest fish larger than themselves. The feeding process is thought to take several hours. Number two, a new species of spider was recently discovered in China's Yunnan rainforest. Researchers say it's the first of its kind that can mimic a leaf. The arachnid uses its silk to stick dead leaves to tree branches. Then it simply lurks among the leaves where it likely hides from predators and waits for prey. The spider can mimic leaves with a greenish brown color, and it even has markings on its teardrop-shaped body that resemble leaf-like veins. Experts cite the spider's behavior as masquerade. Unlike camouflage, masquerade allows an animal to resemble an object and has much more success if surrounded by many examples of their disguise. Camouflage allows an animal to essentially become invisible, a tiger's stripes being an example. When the leaf-mimicking spider uses dead leaves to help conceal itself, that demonstrates a successful masquerade. And because that masquerade is so convincing, it might help explain why so few of the spiders have ever been collected. Scientists have only found two so far. Number one. Seven new species of peacock spiders were found in Western Australia, including one that can mimic a wasp. The distinctive patterns are found on the male's body and are thought to be used to attract the attention of females. While these critters are only around five millimeters, or less than one-fifth of an inch, they can show off in a big way. These new peacock spiders display some especially vibrant colors and patterns. The amazing designs are located on flaps around their abdomens that are raised in a fan-like shape while performing intricate dances. The rituals are intended to attract a mate, and if the females are not impressed, they are known to eat their would-be suitors. Among the other new species found, some seem to have large ears on either side of the blue-colored bellies. Another has a pattern resembling a mask with two eye spots near the top of its fan. Other new species lacked the vibrant colors, but instead used the legs to win over the ladies. The spiders are known to make elaborate displays with the limbs to ward off rival suitors as well.